from my new moon. I'm here today to show you a bunch of different cute ways to wear hair bows. I know, isn't that kind of fun? I thought so. Who says, you know, that there's an age limit on bows? There's just not, I don't believe it. So I'm gonna use two bows today. This cute one that I found at H&M, which is kind of what prompted the video. I saw this at the store and was like, oh, I think I need that. And I think I need to do a video. It's uh, one of those clippy things from like the 90s. Yep. Those. Unless you're too young to know what that is. In that case, don't leave a comment. These ones, which I thought were super cute that I also saw at H&M, they have this easy little clippy thing that makes it easy to um, slip in your hair wherever you need it. So I got these ones came with two little clippy bows and a big bow. And those are the ones that I'm going to use today. Let's get started. Okay, the first one we're gonna do, as you can see, is the deep side part. And this one we're gonna put the bows to the side with the least amount of hair. Um, so I'm just basically throwing everything over there to whichever way feels comfortable for you. Usually mine is going to the right. And I'm going to add volume because I feel like my hair needs it. Of course you don't need to, but it's always a good option. Big hair never hurt nobody. Oh, sorry, I have a cold. Anyways, go ahead and dump it all the way over to that side and let the curls be all big and voluminous. That's kind of fun. And then you're gonna go to work on that little side. It's super, super simple. You're gonna take that twist, the hair, twist it back and use a bobby pin. I'm gonna try to explain this to you. You get the piece of the hair and then you twist the pin around and tuck it under. So that way you can't see the pin and it's held securely. So there you go. Go ahead and slip the bow right on top. And on this one, you could totally leave it with one bow. That's super cute. Or like I'm gonna show you in a second, you can actually add another one. I liked the two bows just because it adds something a little bit different, but you know, totally up to you. What do you think? I think I'd go with the two bows, just kind of different. Now this one is a half up, twisted half up. As you can see, I labeled them all, you're welcome. And another one, super easy. I'm starting with the top half of my hair and I am not taking the lower half because I like to cover my ears, personally. I know this isn't for, like not everybody cares, but, but I do. So I puffed up the middle there, as you can see, because I didn't want a solid part right down the middle in between the twists and then lightly pinned with a bobby pin. It doesn't have to be super tight because you're gonna put the bow over it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other thing on the other side, trying to get my bangs in there, but they will probably fall out because that's what they do best. And then I just, I actually just secure it with the bow instead of, um, instead of using a bobby pin just because I knew that the bow was gonna hold it tight enough for me. But you could definitely use a bobby pin on that one. I'm sorry it's kind of cutting off the top of my head sometimes. I guess I don't realize how tall I am, but there you have it. Oh, and there's the bangs in my face. What I'd do is probably just twist them back and pin them if I wanted to. Ooh, this one was my favorite. The big side braid, big, fat, regular braid. There's nothing super special about it, just a big side braid. Since you can see I already have curls in my hair, I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, it was, I've, I wanted to show my curls, so that's why I went over to the side and I loosely braided it so that the thickness of my hair shows through. And as you can see, just kind of loosely. And then halfway down, I stopped. And instead of using elastic, which would secure it at the end tightly, I just put the bow in because I knew it would hold it. And then that way my hair will spread throughout the clip in the bow and make the braid look bigger and the curls and all of that will look bigger as well. Just had to make sure that my bangs were the way I wanted them. And then of course pull out the braid because that always makes it look thicker and fuller. And there you have it. And now we have the top knot. I did a nice loose top knot because I was going for easy. So take your <laughs> fierce rubber band there. And it's so easy. I mean top knots can be done so many different ways. Um, but for me, I'm just basically pulling my hair up, twisting it around, and pinning it. I'm not even sure I used that rubber band. I don't know why I showed it to you guys. Ha! 
I guess I just pinned it. So for me, it was more of like a, do you ever watch Anne of Green Gables? You know? Uh, yeah, it wasn't in the frame. Sorry about that. Anyways, it's a nice big poofy bun like she has, sort of, except not as dramatic. Like, soft and romantic. I really like it. And then I put the bow under the bun. And I was done. Okay, sorry, I'm a little behind. So this one's swept to the side. Basically the same, it is so easy guys. I'm just basically giving you ideas. I'm sure you don't even need a video. But just taking those bangs out that always super annoy me and twisting them back to that side. And I'm gonna pin with a bobby pin straight across, not even trying to hide it because I'm gonna hide it with the bow. So just pin it straight over the hair and then grab that bow and slip it right on top. Wham, bam, you got a hairstyle. But seriously, isn't that cute? I mean, I don't think it looks too girly girly and it gets it out of your face and you got a little bow to the side. I thought it was cute. This one's basically just a regular low ponytail. Like I said, nothing mind blowing here, guys, but just a bunch of ideas for you to try. Of course, if you're gonna do a low ponytail, you just can't have a regular ponytail. You need to have some volume in your hair. So I went ahead and started at the top and fast, I'm a really fast teaser, what can I say? Just kidding. Anyway, teased the top all the way down to where the bony, <laughs> what is my deal? To where the ponytail is going to be held, as you can see, love that volume. And then I come around and, no, I did not tease the front, I couldn't remember. I guess I did not, but I just wanted the volume in the back. So, there we go. That's where I used the hair tie. Maybe I got them mixed up. So, I went ahead and secured it low, and then as you can see, I'm pulling it out because I want that poof. And then I take a long piece from underneath and wrap it around because I want to cover the hair tie. It kind of took away my thickness of the ponytail. Maybe I took put, 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 put. maybe I took too big of a piece. But oh well. I also tease the ponytail coming up real quick here. So just secure that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the bow right on top. And it doesn't really have to attach to anything. Just slip it right on top there. And it's just kind of a cute accessory to go with your ponytail. Done. Let's do that. And then my curls tend to get more defined when they're in a ponytail. And I don't like the way that looks. So I'm giving it a little tease so that I can have kind of a poofy ponytail. And these bangs, man, they're killing me. So, of course, I'm going to twist them back and secure them because they really drive me crazy sometimes. <laughs> I'm pulling out all the poof to make sure I got it even. And you're done. There is your ponytail with a little bow to add a little cuteness. Okay, headband, super easy. This one's perfect for semi-greasy hair, which I happen to have quite a bit, although today it is not, in this video it is not. Um, so go ahead and put a regular headband on. This one's just like a regular athletic, I don't know, goodie type headband. And I'm pushing my hair all the way back. And, um, I'm keeping it tight and I'm not pushing it back very, very far so that I can have the rest of my hair showing the volume and all that jazz. I'm also teasing the top so that it'll go back the way that I want it and not part all funny right behind the headband and so that it'll go back there. See like nice and big. I've got some sticking out but I kind of like the messiness of it. And then all you do is slip the little bow right on top of the headband and you've got a headband with a bow. How cute is that? I really like it. It's perfect for like, I mean really, how long did that take, five minutes? Here's the double poof half up. I know, I'm super creative with these names. But I gotta tell you, I was trying out styles to do this video and I did this mini poufant, what is it called? Mini pompadour right in front. And I put the bow and I was like, oh load, that is no good. It was just like, like I was a package, like it was really too, too girly. And I'm like, okay, well that's what we're not looking for. So let's keep going. And then I added another poof, and I really liked it. It's just, you know, I think the pony, the, the ponytail, I hate, think the bow needs to go more towards the back of the head and it can't really sit right on top. I mean, that's me personally anyways, because that looks a little more girly. So I'm just securing with the bobby pin straight across because it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair bow on top of the second poof, or behind the second poof something like that and da, 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 da. voila all done this one is like such a bizarre bubble twist it's kind of fun though I like it it was it was 
almost on accident how it happened, but I liked the way it looked, so I just stuck with it. Started at the top and created like a little half up twisty thing, pushing up my hair and twisting it over so that I have a little bit of volume and the beginning of a twist. Then I'm going to take all this hair to the side and kind of secure it there. You can use I use these clips because I have really thick hair, but you can also use bobby pins. If you have thin hair, this will be so much easier for you. And as you can see, I didn't pin all the way up, which that hair to the left, it's killing me watching the video, although I do fix it in the end. Um, so you're basically taking pieces after you pin it to the side and rolling them over, and they become these bubble twists, hence the name. Like I said, I'm super creative. And another thing, I'm using those, what are they called, duckbill? That's what they're called, duckbill clips. Because my hair is very thick, but then at the end there, you can see I started using bobby pins because you can. And if, like I said, if your hair is not as thick as mine, which is probably likely, then you can use bobby pins all the way down, or you can just use the really thick, long bobby pins. Those will be great too. So once you have it secured all in the end, you see you have kind of the bubbles going across and whoa what happened over there look at my face <laughs> I'm like oh geez but um, what happened is it wasn't pinned originally so as you can see I'm trying to fix it right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it back under the twist and it'll be fine although I it really bothers me because I could have pinned it more what I ended up doing is just using the, the bow on the side there so I hold it up there you go good job Natalia and then pin the bow on the side and you got a cute bubble twist with a bow on top. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Probably could have been done neater, but it, it's an idea. That's all folks, stay tuned. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd subscribe, that'd be super awesome. Check out my latest makeup tutorial here. See you soon.